is replaced by water from the xylem. This sets up a tension, or force, that pulls the entire column of water, by capillarity, up through the xylem. Ultimately, the water column is pulled up from the roots. This creates a lower water concentration in the root cells. Most roots are covered with fine root hairs that greatly increase the surface area exposed to the moist soil. Osmosis moves water from the soil through the cell membranes into the root hairs and roots. The water then diffuses into the xylem and moves through the plant. The force of water evaporating from leaves is strong enough to pull water out of the soil and up several hundred feet through a tall tree. The other kind of tissue in the vascular bundles is called phloem. The function of phloem is to move sugars, amino acids, and hormones through the plant. Unlike xylem, phloem is not restricted to moving fluids in one direction only. For instance, it may carry sugars produced by photosynthesis in the leaves to parts of the plant that don't photosynthesize, like the roots. This is called translocation. Translocation through phloem is thought to occur this way. Glucose from photosynthesis moves into the phloem. Because the water in the phloem is now mixed with sugar, we say it has a lower concentration of water. Cells called sieve tubes enable the movement of water by osmosis from the xylem into the phloem. This increases the hydrostatic pressure in the phloem. The increased pressure moves the material through the phloem, similar to the way water is moved through a hose by pressure at the faucet. When the glucose is unloaded at its destination, osmosis again moves water to equalize the concentration gradient, this time moving water from the phloem to the xylem. Water and nutrients are carried through plants by vascular tissues. Xylem transports water. Phloem transports mainly nutrients in both directions. Osmosis moves water from the soil into the roots. Osmosis moves water across a membrane from an area of higher concentration to an area of lower concentration. Capillarity is one force that moves water through the vascular tissue.